Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, I guess they're for sale. They have arrived. The GSOR 110 FB. More veiled vehicles, of course, because that's what the game needs is more veiled vehicles. And this is on the North American server in Canadian dollars, I believe. You can get one for $61. The number is just underneath my face there. Or you can get it for $71 with nine items. Seven days of premium, sunset style, and four more items, whatever there. Or you, you can get it for $99 with 1,500 gold and 30 days of premium and 1.8 million in credits. Or uh, if you uh, really want to give Wargaming a lot of money, you could give them $205. Can you imagine advertising to sell a pixel, a pixelated entity that exists in the interweb? That, that's not real. <laughs> $205? What do you get for this? You get 100% uh, crew with XP for three perks. Ah, there you go, guys. This is what I was saying was going to happen when they were trying to I introduce the, uh, remember the 75-point commanders? And then the, the crew 2.0 and that got quashed. It, the crew changes didn't work. Well, they, they decided to monetize it anyway. Uh, so now they're selling premium tanks. And you can get a crew with the per you're paying for the the perks, right? How long till you can get a crew with six perks or get a crew with nine perks? Five hundred dollars, you get a crew with nine perks. Anyways, I apologize. It's on sale regularly three hundred seven dollars. It just came out, but it's on sale thirty three percent off. <laughs> Like, it can only be a sale if the price existed for a certain period of time and then you've discounted it. It just came out at 205 It's not a discount. <laughs> hey guys, you get to save. You can save $100. <laughs> Buy this for 205 you save $102. Okay, what else do you get here? You get the bonus 10 anniversary coins. Uh, a style C sunset, 25 uh, plus 50% credit earners for one hour and a bunch of credit things. Okay, so, so, so what do you get here? Um, let's, let's just watch some gameplay. I guess Wargaming is doing its part in helping us cope with inflation, right? They reduced the price by 33%. It's only $205 to get the, you know, the full... <laughs> We're not going to do an in-garage review. Let's just get into some action here. Osar1 from the PZXGA clan is uh, playing this uh, wheel beast. Is it a beast? Is it going to break the game? Now guys, I've, I've never been a big fan of the uh, wheel vehicles. You know, I, I, I've made a lot of videos entitled We Hate You. I hate the wheel vehicles, the, the French ones. I think they're too fast. Uh, the gun's too accurate. Uh, there's a whole bunch of reasons, right? <laughs> Fix the tire. I don't know anything about these. I don't know if it's the same mechanic. I don't know about anything. Okay, let's just uh, If you want some detailed uh, analysis on uh, you know, the gun, the gun handling, the speed, uh, everything, watch uh, watch Des Games. He probably will do an amazing uh, video on this. Right? Or watch uh, Skill, and he'll probably give you his uh, no BS. He'll play it and give you his no BS um, analysis. Look at that. He pumps one into the side of the tier a french ebr who's gonna take another one he's auto locked on him he's auto locked on him and target lost gotcha a little bit of good rng i guess on sale day so watch those two guys if you want to get all the the detailed information let's just have a discussion in this video um but what do you think in general about adding uh a tank that has, uh, we can say, really good mobility and a very good gun into the game. I like it. Continuing the trend of faster, stronger, mainly faster, right? It's, it's the speed. Uh, game's game's got to be over in five minutes, eh? Let's just have a quick look here. What has he got? He's got the regular ammo of 218 pen, 360 damage. That's AP. 920 meter shell velocity, which is not very good. Then he switches to uh, APCR. Is it the premium ammo? 
and all of a sudden he's got 1250 shell velocity, which is a, you know, cha-ching, spend more, hit more, and um, uh, 252 penalty, which for a tier eight is um, is very, is naughty, 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 naughty. What about the HE, which is usually good on the British ones? Uh, well, only 50 pen for 60 damage. So the HE is not, um, it's not overpowered, uh, HE uh, uh, shell weight. The tank's fast. It looks like this reticule is barely uh, getting bigger. It's going to be another fast tank that can uh, accelerate a damage output, but fragile. Would that be a fair enough assessment? Another fragile tank uh, that's going to zip around and unexpectedly show up and uh, boom, smack! Critical hit. Now, this is not a particularly good map to use your speed. I purposely picked this video and a shout out to you, to, uh, shout out to you, Osser, for having this great game under these circumstances. Uh, you know, I'm not showing you him top tier versus tier sevens and sixes. You know, on uh, Camp in a Bushka map where he just drives around and kills everybody. No one can hit him. I'm showing you he's in a tier 10 game. Right? Tier 10 game. And that was a long aim time to get that uh, aim circle to settle down. It's a tier 10 game and it's on a map where uh, it's not totally conducive to driving around fast. So this is much harder. He's got to be, um, you know, careful what he does. Snap! I can't see the target. And here he goes. He's accelerating to 58, 60, 60. He's topped out at 60. He's topped out at 60, guys. 60, which is not EBR quality. And he just snapped on when he's out. Enemy vehicle destroyed. So, the question for all of you guys in the chat is, remember, before I ask the question, let me backtrack one more time. This is the premium tank. It always starts with the premium tank, right? Premium tank comes out just like that Frenchie, that EBR or whatever with the two shots. Premium tank comes out, it's in the game, they watch it for a little while, and this leopard is making him pay for his time uh, uh, And you know the whole line's going to come out now, right? So there's going to be a whole line. So there'll be two lines of wheeled vehicles, the French and the British. And you know, maybe, obviously, a Russian one to come, I'm just guessing. Because there's got to be a Russian one. You got to know that. The, the Russians are coming. The Russians are coming. I can say that for sure. The, they'll obviously... Oh, and he bounced the grill egg. No way. He bounced the grill egg. Uh, <laughs> it's honeymoon RNG, guys. He was angled. It was an auto bounce. Whatever. He bounced the grill egg. <laughs> So the question is, let's get back, let's keep focused on this video. But my mind wanders. Um, in general, is it good for the game, guys? Because uh, uh, this is what's happening, right? The game's getting faster. Simple as that. You can summarize the whole thing getting faster. And the definition, what I mean by faster is, tanks move faster, they pump out damage faster. The result of the game is accelerated because as the tanks get faster, as the DPM gets higher as everything gets better we're playing on the same maps this map is gone but I, I stand corrected they are going to modify some maps and ensk i think is one of them i can't i'm not sure they're going to make some maps bigger so there is that yes they they are considering that in in uh some ways but generally speaking uh the maps are the same size and the uh it used to take, you know, 45 seconds to encounter each other in the old days. One team to encounter the other because you had to drive to the middle of the map or to initial positions. And remember back in the day, the British medium tanks, top speeds were something like 25. You know, a fast tank went 35. Now, this one goes, what, 60 it looks like. Uh, EBRs go 80. Uh, some heavy tanks with turbo and this and that can go 65 70, right uh, so you can summarize everything by just saying the result is accelerated faster so you don't have to be a rocket scientist uh, to know that uh, as they keep doing this um, the games get shorter and shorter and shorter and the results are uh, predictably uh, 
predictably short. It just makes sense, right? Like, you just look at it the other way. Right? Always, uh, when you're doing an analysis, just consider the opposite. If they took all the tanks and reduced their speed by 50%, and reduced their DPM by 50%, if they, they'll never do this, but let's just say they did. If all the tanks went half as fast and shot half as much, the games would be longer. I don't know if that would be a good thing, but that, you know, think about that. An Osser comes out of a tier 10 game with 5,219 damage. I didn't cherry pick the Mr. Super Unicom replay. Five kills. Amazing game. Well played, my friend. He made 44,000 credits. And think about it, right? If you look at the, uh, if they do what I just said, the games would last longer. So obviously, if they keep adding faster and stronger and better, the games will be shorter. What do you want? Uh, let me know in the comment section uh, what you want. And uh, whether you think adding this type of vehicle is good for the game or not. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not there. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm more traditional. Uh, this one seems uh, 60 as a top speed seems borderline okay. But I'm interested in knowing what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section. And uh, let the games begin!